Losing weight and keeping it off is a constant battle for millions of people. In his new book, The Skinny on Losing Weight Without Being Hungry, Dr. Lou Aroni explains why biology is the real key to winning the weight war. Good morning. Good to see you. Morning, Harry. Uh, we've talked so many times in the past, but this is great. You've taken this book and you've sort of synthesized everything you've learned in a lifetime and said there really is a way to do this. And you start with saying this is not about willpower. What do you think it's about? Well, we like to say it's not about willpower. It's about fill power. That there are physical mechanisms that stop people from losing weight, but there are ways that you can eat that can help you to lose weight, and it's actually not too hard to do. So really, if with a, even a limited amount of thinking through this, you can be on your road to, to a more healthy, healthy lifestyle, right? Absolutely. Some of the latest research shows that fattening foods, these would be cookies, cakes, chips, things like that. When people eat them, they find that they just don't feel full. We call it fullness resistance. Mm -hmm. The more they eat, the hungrier they get. And there are simple ways that you can overcome this problem. You know, it's interesting because when I eat an apple in the afternoon, mm -hmm. I tend not to want a second apple. Right. right. But if you open a bag of pretzels or something like that, you're going to have another and another and another. I think that really sound, that sounds like it makes a lot of sense to me. Right. And what you may think is that it's just your behavior. But the fact is that what we're finding is that some foods just break down the fullness mechanisms. Your fat cell can't tell your brain how much you've eaten. You wind up overeating again and again. Let's talk about some of the foods people can eat that really do fill you up, that work very effectively in terms of trying to kind of reverse this cycle, eat something that's going to fill you up. What are, what are some of the foods? Well, soups. Starting a meal with a soup, very, very filling. Vegetables. Have your vegetables first. That's one of the best pieces of advice we can give people because hmm. it starts you getting full. Right. And then low-fat proteins like chicken and fish. And the idea is to have those foods first so that they get your fullness mechanisms going and then later on you get into things that may be a little bit more. Because especially as kids we would leave the vegetables to the last because you're Right. You know, parents say, come on, eat your vegetables. If you start with that, maybe you're going to be better off in the long run. If you start out eating bread, if you start out eating all your rice, you're never going to feel full. You're going to eat a lot more. Mm. If you have a snack of, a, of cookies or cakes, you're going to be hungrier. You can't stop eating. What are some of the fattening foods that we really ought to be watching out for, the ones that really raise the red flags? Well, anything that would have a lot of calories in it, very calorie dense foods as we call them, cookies, cakes, chips. I, I think that those are the major offenders. Mm -hmm. But then if you get into fast food, it has a lot of calories in a very small compartment, you overeat it, mm -hmm. your body just doesn't feel full. Okay, last but not least, if there were one dietary change that you could pass along a piece of advice to every single person who's watching out there, what would it be? It's that your breakfast has to be the right kind of breakfast. If you're having trouble losing weight, a protein breakfast, an egg white omelet, cottage cheese, yogurt, we find that that cuts appetite later in the day, sort of a natural appetite suppressant. It gets the metabolism mm -hmm. going and it's the whole process is makes it going all day instead of that sort of fasting thing that really works ruin on your system, right? Right. It's much, much better approach. There you go. Dr. Lou, as always, do appreciate it. Good to Thanks, see you. Harry. Congratulations on the book. To read an excerpt, from Dr. Aroni's new book, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.